Blue Eyes Samurai is an amazing series. Everything from its characters to its animation style to its fantastic action sequences make it a truly amazing TV show to watch. Blue Eyes Samurai really stands out to me out of all the shows that I watched in 2023 thanks to its fantastic character development. Character development is an essential component that you need in your story in order to make your audience care about your characters. Recently, the Miss Marvel actress, Amon Bellani, was asked about why Marvel was on a downward trend. And in my opinion, she gave the perfect answer. She said, I don't know. I don't know if it's just about getting bigger and bigger because then like what's left, you know? I think it's just about making the audience care about the characters. In my opinion, she gave the perfect answer. If nobody cares about your characters, then why should anybody care about your story? Despite how Blue Eyes Samurai does not feature any recognizable characters, I still ended up loving the show because all of the characters in that story went through fantastic development. In this video, I'm going to go over all the steps you need to take to create great character development and how Blue Eyes Samurai nails all those steps. But before we move on, please be sure to like and subscribe to Reverb Comics. You don't want to miss out on our awesome content. Now, to start off, let's define what character development is. In my opinion, the definition on the Masterclass website is a pretty decent one. In fiction writing, character development is the process of building a unique three-dimensional character with depth, personality, and motivations. Character development can also refer to the changes a character undergoes over the course of a story as a result of their actions and experiences. In other words, throughout the course of your story, your character needs to be fleshed out and needs to go through somewhat of a change. Let's go through some good and bad examples of character development in a story. Iron Man is a film that has fantastic character development. Tony Stark starts out as an egotistical and selfish person who happens to sell his advanced technology to his clients. After finding out that his technology is being used for nefarious purposes, Tony Stark starts to change. He starts to develop technology that is sustainable, environmentally friendly, and of course, he builds the Iron Man suit to help people. Tony Stark goes from an egotistical, selfish person to a very selfless person at the end of that story. Now, let's go over an example of bad character development. Rey's character development in the Star Wars trilogy is messy and all over the place. On an external level, she starts out as a very smart and capable person. She's resourceful and she picks up skills with relative ease. In episode seven, she figures out how to use the force pretty quickly and she figures out how to fight with Kylo Ren in a lightsaber duel pretty quickly as well. To make a long story short, she starts out as a smart and capable person in episode seven and ends the story in episode nine as a smart and capable person. I'd argue that on an internal level, she starts out as a person with identity issues. In episode 7, we learn that her parents abandoned her and she basically had to raise herself. As a consequence, she's somebody who wrestles with her sense of self-worth. In episode 8, we learn that her parents were just nobodies who just left her. Then someone at Disney reversed that decision for episode 9. It turns out that somehow she's related to Palpatine and somehow she's a Skywalker. And she makes out with Kylo Ren for some reason, who's now Ben Solo. Ray's character development is very messy because she starts out as somebody with identity issues and those are not resolved by the end of episode nine. Her character development is not the best because she doesn't really go through a lot of change. Now, if you're writing a story, I highly, highly recommend that you follow Dan Harmon's story circle. If you follow all these steps, you'll easily avoid bad and messy character development in your story. Make sure that your character starts out in a zone of comfort and make sure that that character wants something. Eventually, you wanna make it so that your character ends up in an unfamiliar situation that they have to adapt to. As the story progresses, you want your character to end up getting what they want, but as a consequence, they have to pay some sort of heavy price. Then they return to their familiar situation having changed. It just so happens that the characters in Blue Eyes Samurai follow all of these steps. Spoilers for Blue Eyes Samurai if you have not seen it. Blue Eyes Samurai follows the story of Mizu. Mizu is a half white, half Japanese woman living in 17th century Japan. 
she quickly develops a cold and bitter attitude towards people due to the endless prejudice and discrimination that she experiences in her childhood and her early adult life. In fact, it's so bad that she even has to disguise her own gender. Mizu is born as a biological woman, but presents herself as a man so that she won't have to receive as much prejudice and discrimination. In a way, she had to build another identity just so that she wouldn't experience as much hurt from the world. Even though her backstory is very traumatic, this is her zone of comfort. This is where she starts out. As a consequence, she wants to take revenge on the person who made her this way. She wants to take revenge on her white father. This is her desire. Now, the majority of this series is following Mizu as she's entering unfamiliar situations and adapting to it. In order to kill her father, she learns hand-to-hand -hand combat and sword fighting. We see periods in her childhood where she adapted to sword fighting after being beaten multiple times. She even learns how to become an excellent assassin. She infiltrates a castle to kill who she suspects to be her father. She fails a couple times along the way, and eventually she gets pretty close to getting what she wants. In the last episode, Mizu gets what she wants, but she ends up paying a heavy price. She finds Fowler, the man who she suspects to be her father, defeats him in battle, and now has the opportunity to kill him. While she was fighting him, she manages to subdue Fowler by starting a fire which quickly spreads throughout a city in Japan. As a consequence, many people in that city of Japan ended up dying, getting badly injured, or they had to flee from their homes. After realizing this, Mizu now has to wrestle with the guilt of destroying an entire city for the rest of her life. Now, as the final episode progresses, Fowler reveals that he may not be her father. Fowler reveals that there's two other white men in London who might be Mizu's father. The story ends with Mizu returning to her familiar situation having changed. After realizing that she has little to no honor and that she put thousands and thousands of people in danger so that she can pursue her selfish ambition to kill her father, she does what she thinks is best. She flees Japan. The series ends with Mizu fleeing Japan on a ship with Fowler as her captive. Now many characters in Blue Eye Samurai go through fantastic character development. Take Taigen for instance. Taigen starts out as a very talented swordsman, but after getting defeated by Mizu in battle, he wants to restore his honor. His desire is to defeat Mizu in battle to restore his honor. Now of course, he enters a lot of unfamiliar situations and he adapts to them. Throughout the course of the story, he gets into a lot of fights, he gets defeated, and he ends up learning from his mistakes. Now, despite how he wasn't able to defeat Mizu in battle, he was able to restore a bit of his honor. At one point in the story, he got captured by one of the villains, Shindo, and he was tortured so that Taigen could eventually spill on Mizu's location. Despite all of his injuries, Taigen refused to give up Mizu's location. He ends up paying a heavy price after realizing that Akemi, his love interest, is getting married off to Shogun's son. Taigen realizes that his chase to restore his honor has cost him his relationship with his love interest, Akemi. It's at this point where Taigen reassesses his needs and tries to reunite with Akemi so that they can start a relationship again. Taigen changes in the story by quitting his ambition to regain his honor to live a happy life with Akemi. Now, what I love about Blue Eyes Samurai is that it goes out of its way to give supporting characters amazing character development as well. For instance, a lot of people ended up loving the supporting characters like Ringo and Akemi. To make a long story short, Akemi goes from being a naive princess to a very wise woman at the end of the series. Now, at the beginning of the series, she ran away from her castle after finding out that she was going to get married off to royalty that she wasn't really fond of. After learning about how hard life can be outside of the castle, she adapts to this unfamiliar situation. She ended up using her beauty and her newly gained wisdom 
to gain more power. After her father finds her again, she ends up getting married off to the Shogun's son, a very fierce and capable warrior. Eventually, Akemi uses her beauty and wisdom to get the Shogun's son to open up to her. She gains an edge with her husband after learning about his deep insecurity over his speech impediment. And Ringo goes from idealizing Mizu to not needing any validation from her whatsoever. Ringo starts out as a very lovable character after we the audience learn that he does not let his disability get in the way of him achieving greatness. Ringo wants to achieve greatness by getting Mizu to train him to become a samurai. After learning that Mizu has no honor, Ringo decides to achieve greatness elsewhere. Now, there's so much to say about the fantastic writing that goes in the characters in Blue Eye Samurai. I really recommend you check it out because despite the fact that a lot of these characters don't do things that you end up agreeing with, you still end up caring enough about these characters to continue watching the story. For example, Mizu has little to no honor. She's killed innocent people and has done very villainous deeds. Anyways, there's much to love about Blue Eye Samurai. It is well fleshed out characters who stand up to authority figures and don't let their impediments get in the way of their greatness. Not to mention, it has really fantastic villains who, quite frankly, are more menacing than the villains you see in the MCU. What makes us care about Mizu, Taigen, Akemi, and Ringo is how much care is put into the development of their characters. The key takeaway here is that if you want your audience to care about your characters, following these steps is a surefire way to make that happen, even if your characters do things that your audience wouldn't particularly agree with. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please leave a like and subscribe. You don't want to miss out on our awesome content. Stay groovy.